Dear Excellencies, Distinguished Delegates, Colleagues, Today we would like to talk about how response is not in conformity with the three international drug con uh, control conventions pose a challenge to the implementation of joint commitments based on the principle of common and shared responsibility. As stressed, the rules-based international order has become all the more pre prevalent today. The need to respect the rule of the international law has become uh, even more important and urgent as well. Also, in order to strengthen multilateralism, respect for accepted norms of, uh, and standards cannot be amb ambiguous or selective. As clearly stated by former President of the UN General Assembly, Hugh Jeremic. In other words, countries cannot pick and choose which international laws to follow without potentially encouraging others to do the same. However, recent legalization trends of cannabis observed at national and sub-national levels continue to push to legal limits currently prescribed by drug-related directives. State parties are increasingly experimenting with the international drug control policies that challenge traditional interpretations of their international obligations, especially over the past few years. Moreover, regarding cannabis, we can see, we see that this experiment of legalization has a wide range covering the non-enforcement of existing criminal laws on drug possession and use, the diversion uh, of offenders to non-criminal channels, and the recent legalization of cannabis at sub-national and national levels. While the threat of the liberalization of cannabis is certainly not limited to legalization, it has particularly pushed to the legal limits currently prescribed by the three international treaties. We have we have to underline the fact that the respect and rule of international law is essentially crucial to keep the delicate balance of peace, order and stability offered by the international treaty law. Therefore, it must uh, be emphasized uh, that while international treaties are in the integral to the world, peace and order and daily effectiveness high um, depends uh, upon the good faith cooperation of all parties. Additionally, the unprincipled interpretation of provisions undermines the delicate balance that was just mentioned. Consequently, we kindly ask CND membership to carefully evaluate their stances on their drug uh, policy responses when tackling the world drug problem, especially that of cannabis. We also kind of ask the membership to consider global peace and security for all while doing so. Thank you.